Dr. Sam Bunting and today I'm going to show you what's in my makeup bag. So my makeup bag, um, I use a well-loved product, um, actually it was a gift and a goodie bag from a Get the Glass event. Um, and it's just about the right size to carry around, um, easy to get at, it's probably could do with a bit of a wash. Um, but yeah, it's got everything I need in it for touch-ups around the office or indeed if I need to go straight out to dinner from work. So, um, the one thing I haven't got, I literally just ran out of last night, uh, is my trusted blotting papers. It has been noted in previous videos that I am prone to shine. Guilty. Um, however, I don't fuss too much about looking dewy. I do try to keep away from greasy and shiny. Um, sadly, sometimes filming does bring that out a little bit, so um, it's been noted. But um, I tend to use blotting papers uh, all through the day um, to keep T-Zone shine at bay because I really don't like powder. Uh, as patients will know, I pretty much ban powder in anyone who's acne prone, and I still am prone to breaking out. Um, even though nowadays my concerns are more along the wrinkles line. So anyway, um, uh, I use blotting papers and I tend to use either Muji or DHC just because they are super affordable and the way they come out of the packet, you don't get six at one time, which can happen with more expensive brands, so I gave up on that. So yeah, DHC tends to be my go-to. Um, then for touching up skin, so I use this um, Maestro Fusion Compact, um, which has a nice click when it shuts, uh, a necessity with all compact products. Um, and you apply it with a small brush. Um, and really, I use it not so much for concealing shine, but what I find is as oil comes through, I lose base. So I actually get a little red around the nose, maybe on the chin as well. And given that I'm Celtic, I am prone to a degree of redness in my skin anyway. So I will blot off excess shine and then I'll go back in with this compact and just touch up where it needs um, a little more coverage, usually as I say on the nose, the size of the nose, um, especially if I've been drinking caffeine or the air conditioning's on full tilt at the office. Um, and this is 4.5 um, uh, in terms of the shade. Uh, Armani is a little strange in how they um, code the colors, but that works really well for me. So that's what I use to touch up skin um, as a general rule. Um, I may touch up um, under my eyes as well, in which case I will use um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I tend to apply products um, not so much with the wand, because I can find that the, the wand itself is a little crude as a tool, it's too fat. Um, and I really want to do pinpoint concealing just where needed as a general rule. So tiny vessels around the nose, um, maybe just that little um, hollow blue area at the corner of the eye, um, which can reveal not quite enough sleep or a blemish. So I actually will use um, an old concealer pen, you know the type, um, the light reflective products, this one's actually Ellis Fass. Um, and I just find that is a great tool to carry around, it's got its own cap, and it's just a more precise way of touching up concealer. Um, NARS I find to be great and this one is good both for under eyes um, and for more general concealing on your complexion as a whole. Um, so I won't have to carry on two different concealers for different purposes. This one does both. So that's skin taken care of. Um, then I have a lip balm because talking a lot through the course of my day means I tend to get a little chap especially in the inside or lipstick goes a bit gloopy and it just doesn't look very attractive so I will often start again with my lip for evening um, and I'll kind of buff off any dry skin um, uh, and just remove altogether my lip for the day, put a little of this on again and then start afresh with liner and um, lipstick and maybe even some gloss but yeah the Dr. Pawpaw Original Balm multi-purpose soothing product I find to be indispensable um, Plus, it's visually pleasing. Then, I think again, as your day goes on, you can end up fading a little and your blush becomes a little less present. And I think that certainly for waking a face up, there's nothing like a rosy blush. And I love cream blush, so everything's quite cream textured. I just find that to be the most flattering. 
Um, so my go-to is still a convertible color. Um, this is Peony. Um, I have several of these in subtly different shades, but they all tend to be in a sort of slightly browny rose um, color family. And this just tends to suit all my needs in terms of blush. I tend to wear this pretty much day or night. So that's cheeks done. Um, if eyes need a little more drama, um, I'll probably add an extra layer of um, my trusted Lancome Hypnose Volume à Porter, their most recent launch, I think, um, which is in black. And it's just a great brush. Um, Alex Babsky, who is the makeup artist for Lancome, loves this product. Um, he loves this brush. You can really get into the corners. You can really work it into the roots of the outer um, kind of part of the eye where you want as much lengthening and thickening, but also separation as possible. I really do hate clumpy lashes. So this delivers both in terms of density, but also avoiding that horrible kind of faux lash um, appearance, which I just find to be a bit ill. So love that. Um, and I'm through two or three of those now. Then, brows. Um, for me, I cannot live without the Kevin Aquan um, Precision Brow Pencil in Brunette. I actually buy these in twos and threes now from Space NK because I have a habit of losing them. Um, it's just the best in terms of being able to just do this tiny feathery strokes that mean, you know, that you don't get that built up mono brow look, which just looks so unflattering and unnatural. Um, you can draw in subtly the shape that you aspire to, but ultimately it looks, it's about looking natural, but with a little more definition. And as we know, brows give the face such presence without really changing anything too much at all. So um, I found that to be um, an indispensable tool. It's got a great brush for just kind of coaxing your brows into the shape that you want, that sort of feathery, um, lustrous Brooke Shields look that I think is really current and really youthful. So, um, yeah, that's my go-to product for brows, especially when I'm doing a little drama with a bit of cat flip liner um, and a little sort of subtle um, shading in the eye socket. Um, so yeah, that's all I carry around for eyes. And then lips, I guess for me, my signature, if I had one, would be a really kind of pretty, rosy, natural lip. Um, and I tend to use, um, at the moment, the Clarins, uh, nude beige lip liner. This was based on a recommendation from Caroline Barnes. Um, thank you, Caroline. It's an awesome lip liner. It's really creamy. Um, it's just a perfect shade of like nude pink. So you get that little bit of extra extension of your lip um, pink color. Um, so you can just take it slightly over the edge. Um, it's creamy, so it doesn't sort of um, you know kind of dry out. And yeah, it works well with the kind of colors of lipstick and gloss that I tend to wear. Um, now, the lip color I tend to wear the most, and I, I can't even tell you how many of these I've been through, um, and it's become very frustrating that Burberry have moved out of um, John Lewis and I have to go down to Regent Street or Covent Garden to get these, um, although thankfully it is available at Heathrow at either Terminal 4 or 5. Um, is English Rose in the Burberry Kisses line. Um, so again, for me, you can see we're in trouble now. I'm having to use an old lip brush to get to the bottom of it. Um, but this is also a handy tool to carry around a lip brush with a cap on it. Um, it's an old Dolce Gabbana lip liner. Um, so in a pinch, that will do me. Um, but yeah, this is just the best color for me. It really suits my natural lip shade. Um, it's creamy, it doesn't dry out. Um, love it. And then finally, if I feel like I want a little extra sophistication or glamour for evening, um, I will use the Burberry Lip Gloss in Rosewood, which um, is just the prettiest kind of transparent, rosy, pink kind of colour, um, which again just echoes the shade of the English Rose lipstick um, that is my favourite. So that's a recent product that I love. Um, I love Burberry packaging as a general rule. It's so chic, it feels nice, it feels expensive. Um, so yeah, it's a product I use a lot, so I want it to give me pleasure visually as well as in terms of the color it delivers. So with all those products um, kind of readily at hand, I can go out straight from work, at work into you know, dinner, wherever, um, and I have all that I need. 
I hope that was useful. Tell me what's in your makeup bag in the comments box below and look forward to seeing you next time.